Hi everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to look how we can add tattoos so they look realistic and they actually adhere to the curvature of an image rather than looking like a, an image you've just tried to plant on top and use the transform tools and try and make it fit. And the way we're going to do it is by using something called displacement maps. Now a displacement map is essentially a copy of your image that you're going to apply your tattoo to but it's a high contrast version and the way the placement map works is it, it reads the tonality of the skin within the picture and it builds a map based on the tones so we're going to go through two images, we're going to start with this one and this is quite a low contrast image so I want to start with this one just to show you um, a way of creating a, a displacement map on an image that doesn't have very good contrast um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to save our start image as displace woman because they we're going to be doing two of these and the other one is a, a guy as you can see now it's important you save this as a PSD file so we've got our start image we're going to save this as a PSD so in our PSD file I'm going to get the burn tool. I'm going to set it to mid-tones. 8% is fine. And what I'm looking at doing is the area near the edges of the skin I'm going to darken up a bit so our placement map can actually pick up the skin tones a little bit easier. And I'll just do a little bit more, not quite as heavy as you get towards the centre. And I'm going to swap this for the dodge tool, still set to mid-tones. I'm going to paint in the centre there, just to make it a little bit more high contrast. It doesn't have to look pretty, that's not what this is about. Um, the last thing we're going to do is... Let's put a levels adjustment on there a little bit. And again, we're just looking to increase the contrast within the area where we want to put the tattoo. I'll just flatten that down. And now the last thing we're going to do is go to the saturation and we're going to take the saturation out of this and make it black and white. Control E to flatten. And we're going to close that displacement file. So here's our displacement file, which is a copy of this image. So if we go back to our start image now, what I'm going to do is take a tattoo file so for simplicity we'll just take um, we'll do a tribal first and then we'll we'll do a color one so we'll pick this one first so I'm going to select that control C control V to paste it in there now it has got a white background so all we're going to do on this is simply change the blending mode to multiply so it's going to hide the white area we get our move tool scroll in a little bit Obviously it's way too big, so we're going to control T to bring up the transform box. And we're going to drop this down to somewhere in the general vicinity of, of the size we want it overall. And we're going to go for something about there. Maybe a little bit smaller. I'm not worrying about these areas spilling over at the minute. We can sort that afterwards with a, with a layer mask. So if I just scroll back out, how's that looking? Uh, maybe a little bit big to be honest, but I think I'm going to leave it like just for the so you can actually see the effect a little bit easier. So we're halfway there. We've got a tattoo. Obviously, it doesn't look real because it doesn't sit flat. It doesn't follow the curvature of the skin. So whilst we're selected on that layer, we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. Now you need to have the stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels on there these two figures is, is how much it will distort according to your displacement map um, it's going to be different depending on the the contrast of the image and what you're trying to put on there as a general rule of thumb it's generally between 6 and 10 so I'm just going to leave this at 10 and, and see what happens so click OK and it's now going to ask you if you look at the top there to choose a displacement map and this is where we're going to select the image that we 
made our map into. Click open. Now it may not be, this isn't the best file to run, it's quite a low res file, I apologise about that. Um, perhaps be a little bit clearer on the next one. But if we're just going to add a layer mask to that. Select on the layer mask, brush tool, foreground colour to black. And I think once I take this off it will perhaps be a, a little bit easier for you to see. But you can see how that tattoo now actually wraps around the arm, it's following the contour of the arm. So all we're going to do is uh, drop the opacity down on that. Anybody who's got tattoos will know they're never actually that black, they fade quite quickly. So now we've added a realistic tattoo that follows the curvature of the arm. Um, and if we scroll right in, it's too low res. We'll, we'll actually, you can actually see some of the details below the tattoo because it's in a blending mode. Um, so that's the, the straightforward tribal. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to the tattoos and we'll pick this one. 12 C to copy, 12 V to paste, 12 T to transform. Now with this one, because the image is in colour, not in, you know, just like a, a black and white image, it can be a little tricky sometimes to um, get it to blend well. But do try different blend modes. Um, so we're going to go for linear burn on this one, I think. And what I'm going to do is obviously, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger than I actually want it, just so you can see um, the detail of where it curves around. So again, we're going to accept our transformation there. And we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace, leave them at 10, pick your displacement map. Now you can see again, I mean even though we don't want this to is how it's gone down into that groove there and it's come back up so it's picking up that contour, li that contour line perfectly. Um, we don't actually want it there but that's besides the point. So again we're just going to create a layer mask, take a brush tool, foreground colour to black and we're just going to paint off what we don't want in that mask. So once again you've got a realistic tattoo, it follows the curvature of the arm perfectly and we can just drop the opacity down on that, a little bit more realism. And obviously you can, you can hook um, saturation layers to this and hue changes and, and levels adjustment, you know, make this look exactly how you want it to look. At least you've got the tattoo in and attached to the skin, it looks realistic and it's following the curvature of the skin perfectly. Um, So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at another image. So we'll go to this one. Now you can see there's loads of contrast in this already so we don't really need to add anything to this I don't think. So all I'm going to do is file, save as, Place man. Again, we're going to make sure we save this as a PSD file. So within this PSD, all we really need to do is go to the saturation and just drop the saturation out of that. Control Shift D to flatten, and we're going to save that. Now we'll go back to our start image. a nice big tattoo to go on the back. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this image into here, Control T to transform, Now 
I'm just going to do this pretty quick. I'm just going to change the blending mode onto this so we can actually see what we're doing. So we've got our tattoo in place. Now because of the, the contrast, this actually looks like it's kind of following the shape pretty well already. Um, but again, we're going to go to filter, distort, displace. Our displacement map now you can see the changes there. Is all this areas in between in the middle of the ring? So I just try and uh, undo that so you can see. But when you go in, you can see how it's it's following the contours within the skin. You know, even the dips here and around the muscles. You can see the tattoos running in and out. Um, and it's just superb the way this actually works. So again, we're going to create a layer mask. Get a brush tool, foreground colour to black. Change that brush a little bit. And we're just going to paint off these areas where it's gone off the side. And there you have it. Once again, another relatively realistic tattoo. Obviously the more complex you make these tattoos um, probably the less effective the displacement map is going to become because you know there is only so much de detail it can get in there uh, but the more you do with the dodge and burn on the displacement map the more contrast you introduce to it the more likely it is to be able to pick up the contours of the skin more accurately. Now if you are a member, I will make these available as a download for you as well. So you will have a start image, a displacement map in PSD and JPEG. And you'll have that for both of the images you've seen. And you will also have a tattoos folder with a selection of tattoos in there for you to start off with. Um, give it a go. It's only a bit of fun. Um, until next time, bye for now.